What's up guys? Yo! Is echt de gangster. Hey What's up guys? guys? How Welcome are you? Welcome to our Q&A. <laughs> Welcome to our Q&A video, the which we've been one waiting for, for so a long. Months, I think. It's been very hectic, it's been so busy for us. We moved back to Holland and we've been busy with finding a job, with uh, finding a home. house in Amsterdam. Just found our home. Yeah, it's so. still empty inside. We don't have any furniture, but we thought, you know, just let's film the video and see um, how we can answer your questions. Yep. So let's uh, I'm nervous. start with the very first question. Um, how Hello did guys. you guys meet? So many people have asked that already yeah. and at first when we were like 18 we met each other 10 years ago and um, I was 18, he was 19, 19 and you know Afghan culture you're not supposed to date before your marriage and our parents weren't supposed to know so we met online bit, yeah we met online and yeah. it was all a bit there secretly was, and yeah there was an Afghan forum um, and we were both both active on it and that's how we met actually so when people asked uh, at the end, like, how did you guys meet? We always said, eh, at the university, you know, we said... Our, our moms know each other, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. But because we were pretty... Back then, back like 10 years ago, you didn't have uh, stuff like uh, Tinder and, 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 and Facebook. Tinder, we wouldn't even use Tinder. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> I but, mean, Facebook, Instagram, people meet nowadays. And when you met someone online, media, that was like really... You were like the lowest that, class. You know, you don't do that. Like we we're talking about ten years ago. Now nowadays it's really normal That's to meet each other like that. So the next question is what have we studied and what kind of work we do? I don't need an hour for it, I think. <laughs> so it's I get so annoyed when people ask me what Farang is doing because it's so so For Marissa it's like one sentence. She started psychology yeah. and she's a psychologist. Exactly. That's it. I on the other hand did a couple of different studies. And right now, I don't know what the hell I am. Uh, I'm something, oh, I like to call myself an entrepreneur, but I don't have any income yet. So I'm not sure if that makes me a successful entrepreneur or not. <laughs> and on the other hand, I studied medicine, wanted to become a doctor, but then I thought, well, I like technology more. So now I'm working within hospitals, not as a doctor, but as an entrepreneur, developing new technologies to improve hospital care. And uh, next question. How did you start the journey? Hmm. It was my idea, obviously, because I'm the fun one between us two. And um, we both love traveling. I mean, we traveled when we were in a relationship, when we got engaged, we went uh, to travel, um, we did city trips and everything, yep. and we did our first um, um, long distance travel, which was Malaysia and India we fell in love immediately and, and we just wanted to do it more often. But you know, when you're working and you're settling down in one country, it's difficult to like leave it all behind and then go traveling. So we decided we wanted to do it for a long time. Yep. Yeah, that was like two years before um, we got married. Like when we were engaged, we made this plan. And it took us two years, two and a half years, something like that. Yeah, to save up. To save up, make a plan and then you know just go for it when we got married and right after our marriage we left holland and yeah we just started our Continue journey Continue traveling for a long time next question is how did you start traveling and did you travel full time well we already answered the last question if we how we start traveling but if we travel full time i don't know uh, we can travel full time but then at the same time it's only for a period of time yeah we you don't do it the better. whole time we like we settle down, we save up, and then uh, we travel. Yeah. The first time we did it like was for a year, and then we settled down in Australia again, and then we traveled for six months again, and now we settled down in Amsterdam, and, and the plan is... And how long is... are we gonna travel now? We don't know, we'll keep it <laughs> secret. How many countries have you visited, and what's your favorite place you've ever been to? We've traveled to almost 50 countries, and all those countries have been so different. I mean, it's difficult to compare all of them because you can't compare like Uzbekistan or Tajikistan with Bali or with... It's like asking what's your favorite fruit? Why is that comparable? You never know, right? You like, you like <laughs> I know, it's fruit. mango. <laughs> no, we also like watermelon, you like pineapple. You know, okay. the thing is, every fruit has its own taste. It's like countries. Every country has its own 
benefits, its own positivity, its own oh, like experience. Mm. So it's like comparing apples and... That's so Dutch. I don't think people do understand that? it. No? Okay. <laughs> My all-time favorite country so far. Um, that's a really tough one. But, but if I take it all together, like food, culture, um, landscape, um, 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 people, then I think I'd say India. What? what? I thought you would say Iran, that's why. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, no, I, I think I, I still choose for India. What about you? Uh, for me, it's probably also India, but the thing with India, we've been at three months. Why do you think I'd, I'd choose Iran then? We, we always say Iran was very surprising. We only were there for two weeks, so in the two weeks was like overwhelmed with positivity of how it surprised us in a good way uh, but then again India we've stayed for three months and we've visited two twice so yeah. we really experienced India and some parts of India which we really didn't like but the stuff we did like was so cool and that's what travel is all about and I think one of the few places on earth you can actually travel and experience a country in a way as you can do in India. Yeah, one I, I can't explain my love for India. I don't know whether it's because I grew up with Bollywood and with their movies and, and because we've been there twice and we've been there for a longer period of time. I don't know, but it has a special place in my heart. How is it travel as a couple? Any advantages, disadvantages? Well, disadvantages. <laughs> Let's start, okay? So, first of all, <laughs> No, I'm gonna be have to be like no, be careful honest, right now. No, be honest. Be honest. I don't mind. Be it's gonna honest. haunt me like for years right now. <laughs> I better use choose my next words carefully. No, just seriously as a couple. I've also traveled uh, like a couple times with friends. Um, coupled some parts alone, in a very long time. But the thing is, with couple is well, especially if it's us, we've like we've grown into each other like in, in many ways possible and um, so it's it's so easy for us to travel together it's it's the most the, the biggest part is there's a lot of stress involved in traveling because like if you've read my blogs read uh, try read my blog <laughs> write about blogs uh, and there's a difference between they going on vacation where you're just chilling and, 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 and stuff and going on a travel experience and when you're really traveling backpacking there's a lot of stress involved rather Negative the stuff you don't like. Okay, that's the moment you really start to become stressful even relationships uh, But I think we find our own way together and the advantage of it is you're never alone I'm not sure that's advantage, but this very simple one. Advantage? It's an advantage. If you're never alone in a way like you've always have someone to share the good times the bad times with share your problems with share come up with solutions um, and I mean it's more just it's more wonderful sharing beautiful moments with someone. Yeah. I'm not gonna say it, but <laughs> you know what I'm gonna say. You still haven't really like summed up any disadvantage though. Okay, it's fun. <laughs> okay, I'll start. I'll start if that makes okay, it okay, easier for you. <laughs> no really, I mean whatever he said, it's true. It's so special to be able to travel with your loved one and you're able to share those beautiful moments with a special person in your life. And I think we both feel very blessed that we have found each other and we're able to do that together. Yeah. And so um, disadvantage is I maybe think maybe that you don't have much space for yourself if you need it. Sometimes you know when there was a lot of stress, you're really tired or you're hungry. You can you can be a bit annoyed, and you like you, you spit your frustrations at each other. You know. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> How long do you plan to travel? Any plans to have kids or settling down? Traveling with kids? Okay, now you come up with the, with the very <laughs> sensitive question. So I hope our moms are not listening. Yeah, let's hope they're not watching this video or, yeah. or else they'll kill us probably. Well, we basically they ask this question like almost every day. Well, so the thing is in African culture, as a woman, you're supposed to like get married pretty young. And then uh, once you get married, they expect you to have kids as soon as possible. Because that's what you do, the right? The pressure is high. You, you, the, the thing is sometimes is 
your biggest goal in life is marrying as soon as possible, getting a job as soon as possible, having yeah. a car, and then having kids, you've made it. And now yeah. just sit back and and and, and yeah. enjoy for the rest of your that's, 50 that's years. That's like um, the ultimate goals for many um, older, older generations. Yeah. And even some younger people who see that as the ultimate goal in life, but we personally feel that we have other goals in life yeah. as well, like personal development, we both uh, need time for. Yeah. And for that... We, maybe um, another thing is also we're, at, we're blessed to being able to do other stuff. I mean, like yeah. an old generation, like they didn't have that kind of uh, yeah. opportunity we do have. And we try to make it possible, of course. Uh, but that's gives us, well, I think not only us, like a whole generation around us, everyone, you guys too, so many possibilities, yeah. so exactly. much to do. Exactly, and um, kids, I think we've both given ourselves like three more, three or four more years to um, travel more, to do other things we've always wanted, and also um, career-wise, we want to do more um, before having kids. I mean, I mean, having kids is, is wonderful it's really special to have children in your life but at this moment we don't feel really ready for it no. so the last question already where do you see yourselves in five years you go ahead first five years that's a long time well in two years we're planning to live in the u.s i hope mom is not looking at this video <laughs> but our family's uh, gonna kill us we just yeah. came back and already planning the next thing. <laughs> so we're planning to head towards the US in two years. We want to work and save up again and then uh, go and live for a while in the US and also travel around for a yeah, while. Yeah, because we haven't seen South Anything America at all. US. For my part is, um, I really want, well the business I'm starting right now, I really want it to succeed. Um, it's an international vision or goal I have. So let's see where it gets me. And I hope in two years or a couple of years, I might be able to do what I'm doing right now internationally. Um, if not, I might start something else. So I don't know. I just see whatever happens. Right, our goal right now is just to live freely, enjoy our younger years with more freedom, uh, develop ourselves, um, and at the same time travel as often as possible. I mean, travel. It's not about travel per se. It's about experiences. Yeah. So we really want to have as many cool experiences as possible so one part of it is traveling the other part of it is living abroad so we did in Australia uh, we do now well Amsterdam is a bit different than where we used to live in Holland now we're hoping to do it in the US yeah exactly or maybe somewhere else I'm not sure what I'm gonna be doing in the US but I hope I'm gonna be able to set something up here in the Netherlands in the meanwhile so I can pursue it further in the United States and otherwise I have maybe always tell my a bit about not what you're gonna do, but but your goals. We've been we've been uh, inspired a lot by yeah. traveling. We've been to a lot of countries, um, as you know, and um, we've been inspired by many um, cultures, cultures, foods, and everything, desserts. and desserts especially. And I want to do something with that, like uh, opening um, a cafe, or maybe I'm not sure yet what kind of direction it's gonna be, but. Um, I've had I've had some plans and I'm hoping to uh, pursue them as soon as possible. Yes. So, um, so and if not, if that doesn't succeed and we go to the U.S., then I'll just go to Hollywood and be an actress instead. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> yeah. So another question is a lot of guys asking if I'm a brother of uh, Ryan Gosling. So the thing is, <laughs> that's not a question, that's guys. A, question. Just... a lot of you people like messaging me stuff. So I know some people call me the African Ryan Gosling, etc. But Dream no, on. no, it's Seriously. just no, it's just uh, like we're done. We're done. We're done.